M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. So I had a question, since the new firmware update, which is 23rd of July 2024, and if we go to system, turn this to firmware, or system info actually, select, so it's 1.01, exit, someone said, has the airband improved? So the airband works okay. Uh, I've got an external antenna on at the moment. And when the sig signals are strong, you'll see there's a trail there. The thing about airband is the signals, they, they come and go very quickly. So I've got the preamp on at the moment, there's one. So I would say it works fine. The hissy noise is a bit annoying. We could try the filter. See if that. I'll just wait till there's another signal there. I think since the waterfall. I would say since the war <laughs> all of a sudden they're busy. It's Bristol Airport. So the noise reduction did help actually. So since the waterfall upgrade, the firmware upgrade, I would say it's definitely easier to see the activity. If we back out to the main menu, go to display, you'll see that there's now two screens, there's a next button and you can make all these different selections. I think the main one is that we like is changing the colour I would say, which is the waterfall colour map. Lots of colours. You can turn the centre line on and off now. And then you've got these averages that you can change around. Now I pretty much, I don't think I've changed anything and it's, even without setting it, it's, I think it's working good. So what we'll do is do the colour change one. So we'll move it to waterfall map. Press the MFK. And then we can start changing colours with actually this knob here. The one that really looks different. And you have to click it twice. Turn that MFK outer knob twice. And the preamp is on, you don't really need it. And you're seeing it shows the B band here, time, receive increment tuning, volume if you press, squelch and RF gain. That's the current item that's selected for the MFK selection outer knob, let's call it. Now remember this decodes CW out of the box and FT8. I will show you before I end the video. I'm just quickly showing you the colours. Copper. Some colours are a bit weird. The winter one's alright, I think. Autumn. I like the hot, it's called hot. The purple one's alright. And then if we go hot, it's probably my favourite too, is the one that's called hot. That reminds me of the Yesu 710. And then jet. The jet is a classic sort of icon style. Yeah, I would say airband is a win. And then I'll just come out of band. I mean, just the fact that we can select airband is 
there's not many QRP transceivers with a built-in 8 tuner that does this. But anyway, up we go. Down this dark and twist. Let's broad, broadcast. We'll go to 40. Let's turn it down. Now you have to press, press, turn down the volume. Tune down to CW. Change mode. Now get the right antenna on as well. We've got a long wire on now, before that was a VHF antenna. Find some CW. Are we going to find any? Wait, nothing at the moment. Let's see if it will find a tune. Press the FST to find tune. Oh, there's something here. Too high up. Oh, I'm not getting much. Let's try. Oh, it's quite fast. Right. So then we go app, modem, save it on CW, and eventually it starts to populate. Now it's quite a fast one, and you do have to try, you know, keep trying with it. And it about a minute later it appears. You see it's I know it's only showing X's. a bit fast it's trying words per minute it says 10 but that's faster you've got to be patient with it eventually you get it you can press the speed and turn it okay let's try FT8 and then we'll end the video. And you just press the app again. And then press FT8 there. See it? You have to un you have to turn it off otherwise it stays on screen. And if it works, it will just suddenly appear. I notice it says USB there at the moment. Let's see if that works. Well, thanks for watching. You know, a lot of people say the price is very near the price of a 710, and I, it, it sort of is. And I completely get it if you think, well, I'd rather have a Yaesu 710 than, than this for the sake of $200. $200. Yeah, there you go. There's your your decode and I get that but the thing about this is it's, it's miniaturized technology like the 705 I mean that's 1400 pounds and when you have everything in a miniature package especially with a built-in tuner and all this decode and and it does work really well on on all bands you know let's turn off the decoder it works well they just upgraded the firmware when the conditions are good, you know, it's, it's, it's really good. There's a learning curve, of course, to any radio. And as time goes on, they'll bring out more firmware. It seems a bit flat now. Earlier on, it was good. That's your tuner. So that's enough for now. 7.3.